Good morning, Mom. Good morning, uh, Trading Post. Um, it is November 19th, uh, about 6.14 a.m., and I'm, I'm back into this uh, Daily Nugget thing, and I'm excited to be back. I missed uh, doing this in the mornings. I've had some issues going on in my life, and I'm trying to be a little more consistent. So, today is November 19th, and we're going to start out with what we do, and our positive con daily confession is, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. The rest of my life is the best of my life. God's favor surrounds me like a shield. Out with the old, in with the new, these hands are anointed to prosper. God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Thank you, Father, for giving me the desires of my heart and establishing my plans. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. If God be for me, who then can be, be against me? Yea, God. Okay. Um, now, I'm not doing a spirit blessing because I can't, uh, today because I can't find <laughs> the spirit blessing. But uh, I got some other things. That, uh, we're still doing. Um, I love the Joseph Prince's daily devotionals, and that's what we're concentrating on. And we're going to do some Proverbs. And then uh, I had a few comments uh, on the awesome uh, sermon this uh, last Sunday on tattooed uh, betrayal. Um, it was an amazing service. If you didn't see it, if you weren't there, order it, get it. It's a must-have. Uh, couldn't have been done more perfectly. Uh, Dave, Pastor Dave, was awesome, and uh, his delivery was awesome. God is awesome. He takes such good care of us. We have a great pastor. Uh, who um, keeps his eyes and his ears open and I, I'm so grateful for that so grateful for that and uh, I personally feel like I was supposed to be in that service um, and I'm sure that you know I couldn't be been the only one in that service that was touched and amazed uh, at the message so today uh, in uh, November 19th in, in Joseph Prince's Destined to Reign just trust God's goodness and pray in the spirit 1 Corinthians 14:14 14, 14, For if I pray in my tongue in a tongue my spirit prays but my understanding is unfruitful God has given us a power powerful prayer gift excuse me praying in tongues which is not limited by distance time or or head knowledge when you pray in tongues you could be praying for the future or even a loved one overseas you won't know what you are praying unless God tells you. This is because your understanding is unfruitful. Your mind is not involved. But Pastor Prince, I must know what I am praying. Sometimes it's better not to know that you are what you are praying. In 1993, I had a long season of praying in the Spirit. If I had known then everything that I was praying in tongues, I would have freaked out. For example, I would have been afraid if I had known that the Holy Spirit was saying, Father God, in the year 2002, anoint Joseph Prince to preach six messages every week to more than 10,000 people. That has come to pass, but back in 1993, one service was enough to tire me out. So I thank God that I don't know what I am praying and, and when I pray in tongues, uh, when I pray in tongues, I simply trust his goodness and pray in tongues for everything that he has planned for me to come to pass in his perfect timing. Beloved, don't stop praying in tongues just because you don't know what you are praying. You could be praying for the safety of a loved one in a life and death situation, especially when you feel an urge to pray because you sense danger. Pray, pray until you uh, sense a release as the burden is lifted. The Holy Spirit will know exactly what is going on, who is in danger, or how to pray for your for deliverance. Romans 8:27. You may say, "Well, I can just pray in English." You can, but your prayer will be very limited because you don't know everything. It is better to pray in tongues because the Spirit knows all things. My friend, you don't belong to, to the natural limited realm. You belong to God who is unlimited. So pray in tongues and see great things happen for you and through you. Thought for the day, it is, our, it, it is to our advantage to pray in tongues because the Spirit knows all things. That's for you, Gary Murphy. <laughs> uh, uh, it's for all of us, really. But um, anyway, uh, today I'm going to read, uh, Mom, you like Proverbs. So, you know, a while back I told you I would do Proverbs in the morning. And uh, I picked Proverbs 10. And uh, as y'all, some of you know, uh, who know my background or, you know, some of the 
you know, personal things. This is the Bible, the very Bible. It needs to be rebound. I just received it this year from my mom, Alicia, um, that uh, when I was 11 years old, uh, on my paper route in Tangle Wild, uh, she subscribed to the Daily Olympian so she could tell me about Jesus. Uh, and there's more to the story than that, but um, I, I used to uh, go by the house uh, and it was the highlight of my day and, and, and she'd be sitting there with a hot plate of uh, fresh baked chocolate chip oatmeal cookies and a glass of milk and this old picture Bible. And um, we would go through and I'd look at the pictures and she'd tell me, you know, the story behind the pictures that I liked. And so I decided I'm going to start reading the Proverbs out of this very Bible and um, because I believe honor is due where it is due. And um, I just want to bless God, and I want to bless my mom, and I want to bless y'all, and, and just I want to be a blessing. Uh, and this blesses me, too. <laughs> just having it, uh, it brings back a lot of memories. So, Proverbs 10, the Proverbs of Solomon, A wise son maketh, maketh a glad father, but a foolish son is the heaviness of his mother. Treasures of wickedness profit nothing. But righteousness delivereth from death. The Lord will not suffer the soul of the righteous to famish, but he casteth away the substance of the wicked. He becometh poor that, that dealeth with a slack hand, but the hand of the diligent maketh rich. He that gathereth in summer is a wise son, but he that sleepeth in harvest is a son that causeth shame. Blessings are upon the head of the just, but violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. The memory of the just is blessed, but the name of the wicked shall rot. The wise in heart will receive commandments, but a prating fool shall fall. He that walketh uprightly walketh surely, but he that perver... perver... Per, oh, perverteth. <laughs> Sorry. Let me try that again. He that walketh uprightly walketh sure, surely, but he that perverteth his ways shall be known. Boy, that was a rough one. Uh, he that winketh with the eye causeth sorrow, but a prating fool shall fall. The mouth of the righteous man is a well of life, but violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. Hatred, ha hatred, hatred, <laughs> hatred, Stirreth up strifes, but love covereth all sins. In the lips of him that hath un understanding, wisdom is found. But a fool, but a rod is for the back of him that is void of understanding. Wise men lay up knowledge, but the mouth of the foolish is near destruction. The rich man's wealth is is his strong city. The destruction of the poor is their poverty. The labor of the righteous tendeth to life, but the fruit of the wicked to sin. He is, a, he is in the way of life that keepeth instruction, but he that refuseth reproof, reproof erreth. <laughs> Got the eth in there. Um, he that hideth hatred with lying lips, and he that uttereth a slander, is a fool. In the multitude of words there are want there there wanteth not sin, but the he that refraineth his lips from uh, is wise. Boy, uh, the tongue of the just is as choice silver. The heart of the wicked is little worth. The lips of the righteous feel many or feed many, but fools die for want of wisdom. The blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich, and he addeth no sorrow with it. It is as sport to a fool to do mischief, but a man of understanding hath wisdom. The fear of the wicked, it shall come upon him, but the desire of the righteous shall be granted. As the whirlwind passeth, so is, he, so is the wicked no more, but the righteous is an everlasting foundation. As vinegar to the teeth, and as smoke to the eyes, so is the sluggard to them that sent him. The fear of the Lord prolongeth days, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened.
The hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. The way of the Lord is strength to the upright, but destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity. The righteous shall never be removed, but the wicked shall not inhabit the earth. The mouth of the just bringeth forth wisdom, but the forward tongue, but the for, for, froward, froward tongue shall be cut out. The lips of the righteous know what is acceptable, but the mouth of the wicked speaketh frowardness. Frowardness. <laughs> anyway, that is Proverbs 10 out of a very old, priceless gift to me. This Bible uh, is how I met Jesus uh, when I was 11 years old. So that would have been 40, 40 years ago. Yeah. Uh, wow. That's a long time. A lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of water under the bridge at this point. Let me just put this over here. Okay. And um, so um, I was looking up the word lavish this morning because uh, Pastor Dave used it in his uh, sermon, uh, I believe, uh, over the weekend. Uh, and uh, uh, I called up my friend Gary Murphy this morning to have him look in his concordance uh, all the scriptures related to the word lavish and and uh, there was there was a few of them there was probably six seven or eight of them and um, but I believe pastor was talking about this one here uh, in Ephesians uh, 1 8 but I'm gonna read you this little section here um, because I, I just think it is awesome and it really relates to um, uh, some of the things that I'm going on uh, going through in my own life personal and the only reason why I share things on a personal note is not to um, and because I know there are other people, especially in Celebrate Recovery and other people, you know, there's other people that who are going through or have experienced a lot of what uh, uh, Pastor Dave was talking about this weekend uh, in uh, uh, Tattooed Betrayal. Uh, and he was talking about how it affects, uh, you know, we can become betrayers and, and abusers and all those things that, you know, have been... Uh, have affected our lives we can also be if we don't handle those things correctly we can go on and be the very be the very same kind of people that uh, did those things to us and um, um, and it really affects um, how we see God uh, I know it has affected how I've seen God uh, and I'm tired of that I'm tired really tired of that and uh, boy I, I can I you know my eyes were not dry the whole service uh, I knew God was speaking to me and you know he's been building this this has been building up and you know um, everything happens for a reason I mean we all know that um, or at least have been told that I don't know if uh, we all understand that but I mean, it really does everything happens for a reason but anyway he was talking uh, about uh, being lavished you know the word lavish he was emphasizing um, and in Ephesians 1, starting at the third verse of the Father's plan of salvation, Blessed be the God of our Father and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as he chose us in him before the foundations of the world, to be holy and without blemish before him. In love he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ, in accord, in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise of of the glory of his grace that that he granted us in the beloved fulfillment through Christ in him we have been re have redemption by his blood the forgiveness of transgressions in accord with the riches of his grace that he lavished upon us in all wisdom and insight you know uh, that tattoo of betrayal uh, has really, um, excuse me, <laughs> picking my teeth, um, has really, uh, like I said earlier, really affected how I have seen my this constant battle I've had with my family and my parents and you know my dad's gone now but there's my mom and my stepdad left and you know this constant uh, battle that I've had of them walking out on me you know. Uh, and the, the betrayal and the abandonment and all that stuff 
that I've been dealing with my whole life. I'm 51 years old and I'm still dealing with this stuff, you know, and they're still doing it to me. And it's like every time it happens in my life and it's just kind of over and it's just constant. Uh, that tattoo gets refilled in, the color gets refilled in and it gets refreshed and, you know, da 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 da, -da. And I have not stopped long enough uh, to, you know, really look at how I've handled it to see how deeply uh, it has affected my ability to allow God to do uh, what he has needed to do in my life to, to make the changes that, that need to be made in my life. It's just been un unbelievable. Uh, and I didn't really, you know, gosh, this weekend was so powerful. I mean, so powerful. Uh, I finally, you know, was able to get a glimpse of how it has affected my whole life, the choices I've made and, and what I've allowed God to do and not to do, mostly not to do, <laughs> in my life, my whole life, the way I have seen him. You know, it's like um, T.D. Jakes has a sermon on the Internet, which I, I made a little posting yesterday on uh, in the Daily Nugget Trading Post. Um, and it's called um, Let Them Walk. And it's a three, there's, there's a little clip or you can watch the whole service. But the little clip is called Let Them Walk. It's three minutes, 40 seconds, I believe. Um, and and it's, he's talking about how um, if the people in your life can walk, the people that are in your life that are supposed to love you, if they can walk, if they, if they want to walk, let them walk. You know, and, and we're not supposed to be out here begging people to stay in our lives, begging people to love us, be begging people to accept us. You know, he, you know, and he goes on about that. But, you know, that is kind of where I have been even with God in my life. You know, uh, because of how I have dealt with my parents. Uh, you know, I've been in this perpetual, I, I mean, I've, I've looked at him the same way I've looked at them. You know, I always felt, I think I've always uh, felt like I needed to do something to get him to love me, you know, and I was always react, you know, having this reaction to him because of what my parents did, and he didn't have anything to do with them, you know, he, who he is and how much he loves me, I cannot put the t same two in the same boat, you know, I can't relate to him, and that's exactly what I've done, I've related to him the way I've related to my parents, and that's wrong. It's so wrong, and it's it sinks your boat even before you get out there. Um, and I've experienced that, and 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 you know, better late than never. <laughs> is what I always say. Better late than never. And I, so I'm choosing. I'm making a conscious effort to change the way that I see him. To allow him to love me the way he's always wanted to, me. Uh, wanted wanted to love me you know and I don't have to do anything to make that happen I don't I can't do anything to make that happen he's done it all nothing more can be done for me or you than was done on the cross he can't prove himself any more than what happened on the cross that's it it's final it is finished he said it is finished now it's up to us the only thing that I can do is leave myself open to receive what it is he has has for me and has had for me since before the foundations of the earth he purposed in himself for me to have and uh that's why this weekend was so powerful to me i mean it just woke me up and i like being woke up by god i mean you know uh you know i don't like being woke up <laughs> on a natural level <clears throat> i'm not a morning person but i'll take being woke up from God in a spiritual sense over being woke up by anything else on the planet. <laughs> There's nothing like it. Uh, so I love you guys. I hope what I shared today, you know, speaks to somebody. Um, I'm happy to be be be, be glad gl be back. Excuse me. Uh, I'm a little excited. Um, and uh, I would ask you all to. Um, uh, if you get around to it, to remember my family in prayer, they're not saved. They hate the J word. I mean, det I mean, they have nothing but contempt for Jesus or anything having to do with him. And um, so I would just ask you to pray for my family's salvation. And um, uh, my phone's going off here and it's really irritating me. But anyway, 
I love y'all. Have a blessed day. Uh, today is uh, the 19th. It's Tuesday. Celebrate recoveries tonight at the uh, Lacey Branch. Uh, I believe they're still doing. I hope there's. And I'm going tonight for the first time um, since they sold the downtown branch. So I don't know what's going on there. But usually there's dinner. I don't know if they're still doing that. I'm not even sure what time it starts, but if you call the church, I'm sure somebody there can give you the information you need uh, if you uh, want to go to Celebrate Recovery. It's tonight. Anyway, love you all. Have a great day. Get around folks that love you. See the good in you. Stay away from the burning buildings, those things that keep burning us every time we go into them. We know better than to do it, but we do it anyway sometimes. I certainly have been guilty of that, but I love you, and um, I'll see you next time. All right, bye-bye.